This viscast will be looking at the phase difference between light as it moves through an interferometer. Pause the video and read the question carefully. We'll begin our solution with an interpret step. What's really being asked in this question? We're being asked to find a phase difference between two parts of our interferometer. Phase difference between the light that's travelled by two different paths. In our develop stage, we might need to remind ourselves what a Michelson interferometer looks like. We have some light coming into our interferometer and it meets a beam splitter where part of that light is reflected and part of that light is transmitted. And the light then meets a mirror in each so-called arm of our interferometer and it's reflected directly back again towards the beam splitter and then it recombines and we get a beam out here consisting of the overlap of these two beams where whether we get constructive or destructive interference will depend upon the relative phase of the light as it arrives back at the beam splitter. In this particular case we're using a wavelength of light here of 633 nanometers and the important quantity we're trying to find is the phase difference of the light as it arrives back at the beam splitter. So we could think of the, the light in one arm kind of arriving back at the beam splitter like this and the light from the other arm arriving back perhaps a little bit out of phase and we'd like to know what that phase difference is going to be. We should be able to see there's going to be a path difference between how far the light has traveled from leaving the beam splitter on one arm compared to the other. Now these arms are different lengths we're told one of them is 2.4 microns longer than the other arm. Importantly the path difference that the light will have to travel is going to equal twice the arm length difference because of course it has to travel along the arm of the interferometer and then back again. So if it was one meter longer up here than it was here then it would have to travel one meter further to get to the mirror and one meter further to get back to the beam splitter. So that would be a two meter path difference. So that's an important thing to realize that in the Michelson interferometer the light is traveling up and back along each arm and so if it's 2.4 microns longer in one arm it'll be twice that in terms of how much further the light has traveled to get to the mirror and back to the beam splitter. And then we need to understand how does that path difference relate to a phase difference. Well our phase difference, let's call it delta phi here, will be what is that path difference that the light has traveled divided by the wavelength of the light. That'll tell us how many wavelengths different that path was and of course every wavelength corresponds to a phase of 2 pi. So that should be our calculation to determine what our change in phase is, what our phase difference is for one of those light beams compared to the other. Now we should be able to evaluate for this particular problem. This should be a fairly straightforward calculation. Our change in phase here, the phase difference, will be 2 times the arm length difference, in that case 2 times 2.4 microns we're told here, let's put that in SO units, that's microns are 10 to the minus 6 of a meter, um, divided by the wavelength which we're told is 633 by 10 to the minus 9, that's in nanometers, multiplied by 2 pi. And we might do that first calculation there and just leave this quantity of 2 pi. When we do that we actually get 7.58 times 2 pi. And this is telling us 7 wavelengths plus 0.58 of a wavelength was what the actual path difference traveled by the light in one arm compared to the other. And so any integer number of 2 pi is actually not going to give us a meaningful phase difference. We really want to know whether these things are pi on 2 or pi on 4 or pi or something like that. So this we can always write here this is 7 lots of 2 pi plus another 0 0.58 lots of 2 pi. And again this, this integer number of 2 pi gives us a phase difference of 0. They'll be arriving in phase if they traveled an uh, integer number of 2 pi phase difference. So it's really only this 0.5 so we can kind of ignore this part it's not telling us any important information and so we actually wind up here with an answer of 0.58 times 2 pi um, gives us 3.6 radians. So there's the phase difference for the light that's traveled in one arm compared to the light traveling in the other arm. A fairly quick assess step here just to keep in mind what our formula is telling us to make sure we haven't done something silly with our formula. Let's imagine one arm of our interferometer was longer than the other arm by half a wavelength. So rather than being this 2.4 microns, imagine it was a half wavelength. Let's just check what our formula would tell us here. It would tell us that the change in phase, the phase difference between those two beams, would be 2 
times this arm length difference, lambda over 2, divided by the wavelength, which would be in lambda, multiplied by 2 pi. And in this case here, this 2 cancels with this 2, this lambda cancels with this. We basically get a phase difference there of 2 pi, which is exactly what we'd expect. If one of these arms was a half a wavelength longer than the other, then the light travelling up and back would have gone one wavelength further, and one wavelength corresponds to 2 pi. So our relationship here that we came up with between the phase difference and the difference in length of the arm does seem to be the correct one.